Boxing Lowdown, we're here at Wembley Stage and where Anthony Joshua just knocked out Alexander Povetkin. How did you see that fight? Bro, I'm, I love Anthony Joshua, right? My guy's a beast, isn't it? I ain't gonna lie, this Povet from this fight, for this fight, yeah, the underdog was hyped, innit? Because of how he beat David Price, who's 6'8", and where Anthony Joshua is 6'4", uh, something like that, yeah? They were like, ah, oh, this guy's a jilly, innit? But what they said, Anthony used to be the hunter, now he's the hunted, right? Look, my guy knows how to work his game. They tried to uh, tried to put him off uh, through social media and that, innit? But he never, he kept his cool, innit? He's done very well to keep his cool throughout the fight. I thought that Povetkin early on was timing that overhand right brilliantly. Um, he's used to fighting taller fighters, as you said. Um, Anthony Joshua, at the end of the day, prevailed. He got the knockout victory that he needed. Um, there was the announcement that Tyson Fury will be taking on Deontay Wilder on oh, December the 1st. But the thing is, because Anthony Joshua won today, bro, that means Anthony Joshua is confirmed for April 13th next year. It's only the winner of Deon is it between Deontay Fury and Wilder. Fury. Yeah. That is the one. But I've got a feeling it's going to be Deontay versus... Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Yeah. And, and if that's the one who will be, who'll be the undisputed. And if I actually want another Lennox Lewis for British boxing again, do you think Anthony Joshua is that guy to do that? Or Tyson Fury? Oh no, no, not Tyson Fury, definitely Anthony. Anthony Joshua. Yeah. yeah. So he'll be the guy standing on top of the mountain when the dust has settled? Yeah, he's the one who's going to raise the flag for England. He'll be the one for British boxing. Thanks for talking to us, man. Right. Take care, mate. Last one.